Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Today, we're, we're um, taking it back uh, old school. We're going back um, throwback Thursday style. You guys, you already know where I am. Just, I'm coming from Walmart. You know, you already know what's up. Um, today, I actually was out here and I just had to pick up a few things. And um, yeah, that's why I'm, it's not like a big heavy load or anything. But um, as you guys can see, it's, it, just, it just finished raining. The weather's changing. I'm sure the weather's changing exactly where you guys are right now. In fact, you know, you probably don't even want to get out of bed, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if you guys are listening to this right now, um, trying to motivate yourselves just to get the hell off out of bed. So, I can imagine how cold it is. I mean, it's only a little cold out here, and um, sometimes it's a little hard for me to get out of bed. Actually, it's not because I have the window, I have the sun, that comes in through my window so literally at 6 6 30 a.m i have the sun you know hitting me right in the head and so that kind of wakes me up no matter what look at these horses huh look at these guys poor guys look at that so you know a lot of you guys are kind of like the horse right now unfortunately you know you guys don't want to work you guys got to go to work and uh, you got your your master ready to pull the reins on your ass for another week and um you know you guys watch me i'm guessing you know hopefully um so you guys can get out of that and uh not have to deal with that shit anymore but as you guys already know it's a process and in fact it takes a lot of hard work that's what we're going to be talking about today you know it's, fa it's funny because i had a few monday motivation topics to talk about today um but i think we're going to go with hard work why not i mean it seems to be uh you know pretty much like the, the one key element to success at the end of the day it's all about hard fucking work but you know the thing is that you know even though i want to talk about hard work and i could sit here and talk about hard work you guys already know most of my videos are about our hard work but that's not what we're going to be talking about today in fact what we're going to be talking about today is keeping it 100 keeping it real being authentic yeah sorry about that <laughs> well see look there you go i mean you know me just switching hands right now keep you know making sure you know um the video's all shaky and messed up and all that crap but that's that's the thing I'm, I'm keeping it real i'm not like stopping the video to you know to edit to you know collect my thoughts or anything like that not really no i keep it real i keep it 100 i keep it authentic i i'm just me and um you know that's what today's monday motivation is is be you keep it 100 keep it real keep it authentic now the thing is that i can i totally get it in this day and age, in this world today, you know, you might be listening to my video telling you to keep it 100, keep it real. And as soon as you go into work and you tell Sally um, exactly how she looks or you're telling Bob exactly how he's working, you're probably going to be, um, you know, sitting down with HR at the end of the day and you'll be lucky to have a job. And <laughs> I get it. You know, it's really, really, really hard nowadays to really keep it 100. But the thing is, it's not. It really is not. If you if you want to, you know, stay and uh, or live or work in that co corporate structure, if you if you're fine with um the way things are right now, then you're fine. You're good to go. You know, this is for everybody out there that has just had enough. You know, where you know again, you just um you're mad as hell and you can't take it anymore. I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take this anymore. And that's basically it. That's uh, basically a lot of people that watch these things or they're trying to change their lives or trying to, you know, get, you know, move on to something better, something different. Um, it's, it's basically it. You know what I mean? The thing is that, you know, we're mad as hell and you can't take it anymore. I'm not mad. Definitely not mad as hell. I'm very happy. I'm very satisfied. Um, uh, you know, I love life, literally. And um, I know a lot of you guys want to get to this point. And um, even some of you guys are at this point right now. And still, you know what I mean? You guys want more, which is great. You know, I'm all about that. But, you know, the reality is it's just, it's all about really keeping it 100. No matter what. And, um, you know, when you keep it 100, all of a sudden, you know, you really start seeing everything around you changing automatically. In fact, I'm going I'm to start off this whole thing with a, a little... A little quote from a Mr. Kanye West, by the way. By the way, I used to be a huge monster fan of Kanye West ever since I've been living in Mexico, Merida. I don't know. I just don't need a. I, I'm not a. I don't listen to his music as much, if at all. Period. Um, definitely haven't heard his new album. But anyways, but an old old quote, an oldie but a goodie from him. 
this is what Kanye used to say. Con a quote, Kanye. The reason I don't lie is cause that way I don't gotta remember shit. No matter where I am or where I go, if someone says, hey Kanye, you crazy. You did X, Y, Z. And even if I, Kanye, don't remember, I'm like, huh. Well, you know what? I guess I must have. And that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, I know it sounds kind of like very crude and rude, you know, that whole um, little thing there. But that says a lot. That really does says a lot because I remember when I first, first heard that quote, it fucking just like, it changed my fucking life. I mean, it really did. And I'm gonna tell you why, because the thing is, it's like this. If you are 100% real, if you are 100% who you are, if you don't lie, if you are authentic, if you tell your truth, if you know you do all of these fucking things, well, guess what? You're never lying. You're just not lying. You are just who you are. And um, because of that, then it, it's just, it, it goes with what he said, where it doesn't really matter what you do or what you don't do. You, that's, that's who you are. And if someone sees something from the past or sees you, um, it, it, does, it doesn't matter what kind of context. Um, at the end of the day, you know who you are. And um, the more of a track record you have when it comes to being authentic and who you are, it's, it's, um, it's all just becomes a part of you. And um, look, you know, someone is also 100% and real and, um, and doesn't give a fuck is that Mr. President Trump. And there's a lot of people like him that, you know, when all of a sudden, you know, Anyway, this goes to anyone out there, you know, but anyways, I, I don't want to get sidetracked. I, I know I, I hate getting political, man. I hate, especially nowadays because the whole fucking thing and I'm, I'm keeping it 100 and real and authentic. The reason I don't even want to talk about him or anyone like that or anyone really is because, you know, some of you guys out there can't control your emotions. And I'm just, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to talk about Monday motivation here and not get sidetracked. But anyways, yeah, it's too late though. I'm always getting sidetracked, but. You know, the thing about keeping it real and keeping it authentic is that, oh yeah, what I was gonna say about um, his quote was um, what I realized at that moment in time when he said that was the fact that almost everybody is living a lie. Almost everybody is living a lie. Like almost, like literally everyone, I don't wanna say everyone, but just about everyone is living a lie. And because, you know, all these people are out there are you know li literally living this lie, you know, what happens is, is that it's hard for them to be authentic. It's hard for them to be 100. It's hard for them to be original. It's hard for them to be themselves because they're just living this lie. And what happens is, is that if they, if, if you know, the more they continue, you know, living this lie, the harder it is to go back. It's, it's all about that web of lies thing, man. And it can just start off with like the smallest, tiniest little thing, literally. And that can fucking, you know, balloon into something that just becomes crazy out of control. Like, for example, for example, if I wasn't real, authentic, you know, raw with you guys, and if I didn't ever told you every single thing, you know, about me and all this other stuff, like, for example, you know, you guys eventually, you know, by the time I get to a certain amount of, I don't know, popularity, a lot of you guys might start, you know, doing a little digging and looking into to me and all this shit. And if I wasn't 100% real with you guys, whatever the fuck you guys dig up, man, it's not going to be good. All right, but since I'm 100% and I'm real and I know who and, and I tell you guys everything just about and if I don't I'm like, yeah, that's right. I did that. Yeah, that, that's right. That's me Since that's the way I live. I don't really give a fuck You know, what I mean like I, I just don't you know, what I mean I'm not scared of anything or anyone or any any of the like my past is my past You know, we're all you know, whatever and the point is it's like again. That's why I bring this up a lot I, I talk about this shit a lot. I make this a big my major point of a lot of the things that I talk about because when you keep it real, when you keep it authentic, when you when you are yourself, when you know all that stuff, when you really don't care about what anyone fucking says or does or anything like that, especially when it's geared, you know, against you or trying to mess you up or whatever, that's when you really, really hit that, you know, that 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 extra level of ass kicking. You know, it, it's um the thing is it's it's a little hard to explain. Um, to to people that you know the thing is it's just like um, I'm trying to gather my thoughts here because believe it or not like I'm actually you know just carrying all this heavy shit and um, you know it's been a while since I've done one of these Monday motivations carrying all this shit and it's hot and humid right now even though it's uh, was a little colder earlier but 
you know, the reality is, is that you got to keep it 100. You got to keep it authentic. You got to be yourself. And that's really how you also be 100% free. Because, you know, unfortunately, that's what happens to a lot of people as well. That a lot of people are, you know, living in a, I guess, in a free country, but they're not free. You know, you guys are, you know, living that, that free life with lots of liberty, but nobody is really free or with liberty. Um, you're just not. Because if you right now can't go into work and tell Sally exactly how she feels or tell Johnny, or I mean, yeah, tell Sally how she looks or tell Johnny, you know, or look at Johnny and tell Johnny, uh, hey, bro, you're doing a shitty job or what have you without any major repercussions, then you're not living in a free world. It's not free. It's not, and um, I get that. But the thing is, you know, why I encourage so many of you guys to, you know, break away from the system, break away from the matrix, you know, figure out who you are, do what, you know, find out what you love, what you want to do, pursue that, and all that stuff is because the thing is that literally, no matter what I say or do, it doesn't matter. I'm not worried because guess what? I'm my own motherfucking boss. Do you think I give a fuck? You know what I mean? As to what? Did I drop him? No. That's the only thing I'm going to give a fuck about right now. But anyways, um, do you think I really give a fuck about the fact that, you know, I, um, you know, say what I say, what I want? Well, not anymore, because, you know, again, the reality is, is that like, I don't have a, I don't have a boss. I don't have like uh, these jobs or anything like that, that I'm going to be um, trying to pursue depending on my behavior and my, my opinions on things. A lot of you guys do, you know, unfortunately, most people, you know, they they care so much about their image, they care so much about what other people think about them that you guys are constantly creating. Most people are constantly creating this image of themselves that it really isn't. Man, that truck not only almost hit me, but it almost hit that car behind me. That's crazy. Anyways, but... Oh, it's uh, the garbage. The garbage. <laughs> but anyways. Oof, that stinks. Stay, oof, man. Oof, man, that stinks. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need a second, I need a second to gather my thoughts. That shit fucking knocked me out. Oof, jeez, that was worse than one of my farts. All right, almost as bad, but. But yeah, you see, look, all, all the things that I'm saying, you know, right now, you know, my farts, my this, my whatever, you know, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it 100. Do you think that I'm going to be really censoring myself or filtering myself? Uh, no, I'm still speaking my mind. Even when I filter myself, per se, you know, in order to, I don't know, make sure the algorithm stay happy and everybody else in the world stays happy. I'm still speaking my truth. I'm still figuring it out. I'm finding a way to do it. And... Um, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm really 1,000% free. I get to speak my mind. I get to say whatever I want. I get to be whoever I want. I don't have to... Um, I don't have to conform to anything unless I want to. And um, the reason that that is is because I am a self-made man at this point. You know what I mean? Right now, even... I mean, by the way, I mean, that's also why I show, chose to be a chef. Because if you guys know anything about that world, I know things have changed in the years, in the recent years, but... Regardless, that's still one of the few, I'm sure, jobs out there in which you can really really still be a fucking animal like, like I used to be. And um, there are really no consequences. In fact, the more of an animal you are, the, you know, the, the, the greater the chances you'll be a great chef type of shit. But I digress. You got to keep it 100. You got to beat yourself. You got to stop living that lie. And you might fucking sit here and, and listen to this right now and think to yourself, I'm not living a lie. I don't lie. I'm only blah, blah. But you know what? The thing is that I don't fucking know that. Only you know that. Nobody knows that. Only you know that. Only you really know if you're fucking lying to yourself or if you're living a lie. And the thing is, a great fucking chance that most of you guys out there, if you really just do a little quick assessment of your life, you'll realize that you're living some sort of lie. You know, you might be gay and all your friends and family, and all your friends know you're gay, but mama don't know you're gay. You're living a lie. Um, you're afraid of what she might say or think or whatever. Um, you know, and there's like a million things like that. You know, literally, I mean, for reals. You know, you, you could literally be, you know, right now maybe doing something like what I'm doing and lying to yourself and saying, 
oh, I'm happy, I'm happy. At least uh, I'm not working that other job I used to work. At least I'm not doing X, Y, Z. At least I'm not, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, but I'm happy, I'm happy. Listen, I've been there. We've all been there at some point. The thing is that when you really look, you know, the, re the reality is that when you really, you know, look at yourself in the fucking mirror and you really ask yourself, am I happy? Is this really what I want to do? Most people are not. And that's the thing, you know, most people, you know, can't even ask themselves that question. You know, most people can't, they don't even have that, the willpower to do something like that. Because they're scared. And that's the thing about keeping it 100. It has nothing to do really per se about, you know, sure, you know, you got to keep it 100 with everyone. And you got to keep it 100 with, with um, everything in the world. And you just got to keep it 100, period, end of story. But the reality is, is that it's not just about keeping it 100, you know, with, um, it's not just about keeping it 100 um, with the world. It's about keeping it 100 with yourself. And that's the thing. The only way you can really keep it 100 with the rest of the world is that when you keep it 100 with yourself. I hope you guys understand what I mean by keeping it 100 and what that means. You know, it's just, again, not lying to yourself, keep, you know, speaking truth, you know, being uh, authentic, you know, all these things that people are like, oh, how do you do these things? It's not that hard. It, it all just starts with not lying, not lying to yourself. And that's the thing, you know, once you overcome that hump, which is a major hump for like a good majority of everyone out there, once you overcome that hump of, uh, of um, not lying to yourself anymore, then all of a sudden, once you can't lie to yourself anymore and you don't put up with that shit anymore, guess what? <laughs> You're definitely not gonna lie to anyone. You're definitely not gonna be, um, you know, um, living that lie anymore. And, um, and then everything is just gonna start coming to you slowly but surely because you'll you'll realize that the reality is is the only people the only person that matters is you and um you 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 know all this stuff about you know um caring about what other people think is basically you know you're just lying to yourself type of shit because you're scared of revealing who you really are to everyone else and that's all it is but once you are not scared of who you are anymore once you embrace who you are you know once you um really you know love yourself i mean you know that's basically it it's always you know it always, it always comes down to like the same old shit but once you literally stop lying to yourself once you literally start um loving yourself and once you start not giving a fuck for reals about what everyone else thinks man that's when the magic really starts to happen and that's it i mean there's really no fucking magic pill there's no magic um anything it, it's just basic stuff and the thing is, I know why I make these videos now more than anything else. It's because a lot of this basic knowledge, this stuff used to be taught to us by our parents. This used to be taught to us by our elders and so on and so forth. And nowadays, a lot of people lack this stuff. There's just no one around to teach it. And all of a sudden, you know, there's people on YouTube like moi, you know, or Gary V or others trying to compensate for that and teach other people that. Because, you know, I've actually been getting a few letters recently you know about you know the impact of my monday motivation stuff and it's 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 fucking incredible man it's it's incredible because remember just a couple weeks ago i was i was thinking to myself man should i continue making these are there people even watching these and blah 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 and before i knew it it's like holy crap holy crap i mean i could literally just make a channel you know dedicated to the monday motivation stuff or just motivation stuff um let you know let alone create a channel just you know for all the separate things that i do so yeah, I mean, not only does this make an impact, not only does this make an impact with you guys and, 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 and random people every single week because there's a lot of new viewers every week because of the, just this alone, but even people like my girlfriend and other friends and family and all kinds of people, you know, the thing is that, you know, it's making me realize that, you know, I mean, obviously I love doing this, but now, you know, I'm getting the reward that I really wanted, which is, you know, helping you guys out and having you guys come out with a really great, awesome result. You know, and, and and that's it. And so all of a sudden now, I find myself, you know, just making these videos once a week. But yet the impact that it's making you guys and making to making my life is, is beyond incredible. And it's it's an honor. And I love making these for you guys. And it's like, yeah, man, every single fucking Monday, I, I look forward to making these every week. I really do. Like I said, I had more than one subject to talk about today. We just decided to keep it 100 because that's pretty much the best thing I do here. And with that being said, I'm going to bring this whole thing to an end guys thanks again for watching don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon and more importantly than anything else stay awesome have an amazing monday and amazing rest of your week and uh you know check out the the sponsor at the end of the show yeah the sponsor's back
All right, love you guys, peace out. And uh, oh yeah, I got Gary V coming or I got some sort of motivational video after this and then we got the sponsor. Love you guys. Peace out. And you see, look, that's how much I care about you. I put the fucking sponsor all the way at the end. I don't put it in the middle. I don't put it at the front. I put it all the way at the end so that, you know, most of you guys can just, you know, skip the commercials and, you know, watch my next fucking video. Because that's what you better... If you're not watching my commercial, you better be fucking watching another video. <laughs> all right, I'm out. Peace out. Love you guys and have an amazing, awesome rest of your day. Don't forget to watch Gary Vee, all right? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> There's a reason that guys and gals like me continue to have audiences because people want to be motivated to go and do things or they want to learn tactics to go and do things. But it, whether I'm giving you tactical advice like filters on Snapchat or Facebook ads or Instagram story collaborations uh, or I'm motivating you through my words because I communicate that way or through my actions, seeing this wake up at five, work to do, <laughs> If everybody who's watching this actually did something about it and then went on the course of their version of it, then they wouldn't be watching this. And I genuinely know at the bottom of my heart, out of all the people that want to build audiences, that I'm the complete opposite of almost all of them. Because 99% of people that produce content like this that are out there like I am, the business of being that is what they are. I have businesses. I have Wine Library and VaynerMedia. I don't need your 14 bucks for my book or to be in my course or this and that. So I don't need to monetize you. So I then genuinely want you to never watch me again. The problem is every time you guys are posting, do you know how many times I see on my, on my Instagram, oh, I needed this today? And do you know how many times I see that person nine months later still hanging around? If you needed it, then take it and do something about it. The reason there's gonna be a billion motivational views today on YouTube is that people love the feeling of being motivated. They don't like putting in the work to do something about the feeling. I hate the motivation me. Until you do something about it. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.